Hey, guys and gals, fellow uh, preppers, all of you um, gas of fire guys and gals out there. Hey, I uh, just wanted to do a little uh, video here on uh, Canadian Tire up here in Canada. So, uh, I bought on October 31st, I bought from the Cranbrook store here, and this is a particular shout out to Cranbrook store in particular. I bought this uh, 180 uh, inverted welder. And my biggest reason why I bought this thing was because it would run on 110 or 230 and so it's a little lightweight and portable or whatever and the price on it I think at the time when I purchased it was like 679.99 anyways I bought it and I ran barely a uh, Barely a roll of wire through it, like not a small, I, I put one small roll of uh, flux core through it first, and then uh, the, the four inch roll, whatever that is, two pounds. And then I, uh, I put a uh, eight inch roll in. And I started welding with that, and uh, the drive motor on it uh, for the, the wire feed backed up on it. So I went to these guys, and like I was saying, some of the features of this thing were... Uh, Versatility for making the flux core, welding with lightweight inverter technology, compact design for added convenience, dual voltage technology, uh, DC power creates smooth, stable arc, infinite wire speed voltage control, you know, perfect for the workshop or the field, burn up to 035 wire in it. Uh, Duty cycle was pretty good, you know, whatever. And uh, same with like the recommended metal thickness, like three eighths or whatever. I'm not welding nothing heavy anyway, so. But anyways, and I figured mm, this would be perfect for what I needed, right? Good to 20 below. Uh, So yeah, like I said, I purchased this and and I didn't get very far with it. Uh, you guys were along on the ride of how much welding I actually did on that uh, thing in, that I'm building. Well, maybe you didn't see the work, but anyways. So I went to bought that on uh, Halloween of 2020 and on their website you know they pretty clearly state that it's like We'll give you an attempt to give you a refund or exchange on every item purchased at Canadian Tire Store when you bring in the original receipt and issued Canadian Tire money. When you don't have the receipt, we offer a receipt lookup. So, the return policy is basically original receipt, original packaging unopened 90 days 
right? And it's normally 30 days. Um, for if you um, <clears throat> like, if you if you uh, take and purchase something from there, and and after 30 days, you and you've used it. Well, you can't return it, right? If there's nothing wrong with it or whatever. So. I phoned them up anyways and told them that I hadn't put hardly no wire through this thing and it quit working. So they said, well, come on down. We'll give you another welder, you know, and we'll extend that to the 90 days because you got your receipt and all. So come on down and we'll give you a, give you another uh, welder. So I went down there and I, I talked to the guys down, down there and the girls and, uh, they said that he brought another welder up, and I asked them that if, okay, so what happens here now if I uh, have the same issue with this, this welder as I had with that welder? And she, they basically told me that, well, then if the, you'd have to send it away or whatever for repair or whatever. And so I thought, well, okay, that's pretty cool. And I, I left from there, and I brought the welder home. And I tried the welder on a, on just a flat, couple of flat passes or whatever. And the feed roll seemed to be having an issue again. It welded all right on the flat, half decent. But when I went to go and work on what a you know on on the gasifier unit, well, you you guys know that it's getting pretty high, and I was elevated there to start attaching, trying to figure out making a lid for it, uh, which I managed to glue together a, a a temporary hinge on there and stuff, just because I wanted to try this thing out here. But Anyways, so yeah, I took and uh, brought the welder home. This, you know, this particular welder here, like I said, this 180, and uh, it packed it in. It wouldn't work when I was elevated up by my job, sort of thing, like when I was about four or five feet above the above uh, the welder it wouldn't push the wire out so i was like wow well, i wasn't <clears throat> wasn't really interested in spending a bunch of money like i didn't want to spend like a bunch of money but anyway so i i phoned them up and asked them i said that this one's giving me a problem too and they said well come on down to the store and We'll give you a refund, or maybe there's something else that in the store that might work for you. So I had my eye on this Lincoln Electric multi-purpose uh, welder, and I looked around town. There was one in town for two thousand and eight dollars, and they wanted two. $2,299. So I said, okay, well, I, I, I want to wanna purchase that, but you guys use, uh, you guys honor a price uh, match, right? Oh, yeah, we do, yeah. So I said, well, there's a Prox Air in town. It's got this exact same welder on there for $2,008. So those guys, they match the price on that. On that welder, gave it for me for 2008. After phoning Praxair and confirming the fact that yes, in fact, it was the price. And now I got, I'm pretty stoked. I got quite a bit better welder. I I didn't want to spend that kind of money. Um, but it is, uh, 
you know, I need to, I got to do some stainless coming up. I got to weld some stainless and that other wire feed would have, I would have needed to put another liner in it and then uh, another um, liner and then, because uh, I guess you got to run a different gas when you're doing stainless. I still got to check into it. It's a different mixture. I think you can you can still for what what I would need I can still weld with just uh I think it was I don't know maybe I am got a mixture on that one it's, I don't know if it's a hundred percent argon or not yeah, there ain't much I do know I guess anyways I I just wanted to make a uh, shout out for the Canadian Tire guys down there that I mean customer service. You guys are doing a heck of a job down there. And, uh, yeah, I'll uh, continue to deal with Canadian Tire. They've never given me no hassle. I don't wear a mask in the store. I, um, you know, I'm not a real uh, easy consumer to get along with. Like, I, if, they, if you want my money, you better have a good product and, uh, and good service and uh that first uh, welder didn't turn out but hopefully this one does and i had a lincoln before and this has uh dual drive gears uh, they're meshed together so it's driving it from the top and the bottom which makes a huge difference on uh on uh, wire feed so that part of it, I know, will be not an issue. And I'm really happy that this thing is because you can run TIG with it. Uh, MIG, of course, TIG. Uh, and then uh, stick comes with stick accessories as well. So that you can burn stick in it. So, yeah, and it can uh, weld up to half inch uh, with stick with uh, and up to th three eighths with uh, wire. But, yeah, it should be all the uh, welder I need for anything that I'm, I'm going to build in my l lifetime. Who knows how long I'm going to last. But. So, shout out to you, Canadian Tire. Job well done. And, uh, anyways, oh, I w wanted to touch on these guys when Canadian Tire, when it was uh, incorporated and stuff. So, it looks like 1927. It was uh, two brothers um, purchased uh, Hamilton Tire and Garage Limited, located in uh, Toronto's Riverdale neighborhood. Uh, they bought the business for eighteen hundred bucks. Uh, that was nineteen twenty-two. And they uh, incorporated it in uh, 27, by the looks of it. Or might have been. You know what? They got a goofy, goofy web page here. Canadian Encyclopedia. Canadian Tire Corp. The selection of the name Canadian Tire along with their successful guarantee on tires was emblematic of the Billy of the Bill's strong understanding of marketing and customer relations. So sought to fulfill the ambition of their nation spanning name by launching mail order catalog in nineteen twenty eight. Catalog contained roadmaps along with price lists for prospective customers. Company's mail order business largely found clients throughout Ontario and into the Maritimes. Store was plastered with memorabilia slogans and images promoting their super elastic tires at prices that generally undercut other options. They also purchased car parts from the same manufacturers that built for Ford and GM, undercutting the large car companies for part prices. Well, smart boys. Canadian Tire's focus on repairs and do-it-yourself maintenance served its well great during the Great Depression. As car sales dropped, car owners sought new ways to extend the life. Mm. Extend the life. Oh, 
of their automobiles, obviously. And then uh, the Walker Anderson opened a Canadian tire store in Hamilton in 34. The company's associate dealership model, which persists today with the greatly expanded and more formal contract, allowed dealers to establish and own Canadian tire stores by agreeing to purchase Canadian tire made and approved products and sell them at their stores. Initially, there was no finance fee, finance fee, and the agreement gave considerable operational freedom to individual store owners. Huh, how about that? Through this, the Billies made money by having a network of retailers purchasing and marketing their tires, parts, and other wares. This network compelled the Toronto office to relocate to a large uh, building in Young Street in Davenport, where it remains today. Uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of history to this store, and uh, you know, as foolish as it sounds, and you know, I do have national pride, and I know that that can shit can be used against you. Um, it was used against my father, you know. National pride, you gotta watch that they don't use that shit to get you involved in their political agenda. Um, but however, like I said, I do, uh, I do like Canadian corporations. If I gotta deal with anything, I'd like to deal with a Canadian corporation, but I wish that this Canadian corporation would also deal with Canadian companies that produce these welders instead of, um, like we buy a lot of, a lot of our wares from the U.S., right, where, and, the, well, a lot of these manufacturers nowadays are you know, the, the parts come in from China and then they uh, assemble it in U.S. and sell it as U.S. made. And, you know, I mean, there's so much deceit in marketing. That's why I hate trying to sell shit. I mean, it's it sickens me some, some of the marketing that goes on in this world. And don't get me wrong. I mean, you need salesmen to make the public aware of goods and services that are available. You do, and and a lot of marketers, um, you know, they they have a tendency to take and be like snake oil salesmen. You know, if you know what I mean. And don't get me wrong, the real successful ones are exactly like that. They take and uh, get you to believe exactly what they want you to believe, and they get you to believe it in such a way that it's it's your idea. You know, these guys are masters at their deception, and uh, I'll. It's an art, really, and I, I and I don't begrudge these guys for having the fluidity of linguistic masturbation on a written page. I mean, I uh, actually kind of admire it. It is, it's exactly like propaganda, right? You know, it, it, it can teach you a hell of a lot of stuff. This marketing can translate right into this propaganda and how the government controls us, right? Um, so, yeah, I do follow this, trying to learn this marketing stuff. And it's not, it's not that I don't want to sell stuff. Yeah, I'd like to source some really good Canadian-made products made for Canadians, tested by Canadians. You know, like a lot of native products and stuff like that I'd like to promote and, and use. And and like I said, locally sourced and locally 
made products so that my dollar goes to support my community where I live. You know, not Ottawa, not, fuck, you know what I'm saying, not these major centers, not fucking uh, big corporations that um, have no interest in your well-being, you know. That's like when I buy wood, I, I like to go to the guy, the small guy here that owns land, and he has some, you know, some uh, trees there that he he's fallen and gotten cut up. Well, I like to buy my lumber from those kind of guys. Yeah, it's more expensive, and I get it, but I like to support local. But anyways, this was just a little update to let you guys know that purchased the purchased the new welder and I purchased it from Canadian Tire because I like to support uh, Canadian Tire but uh, because uh, that it's a Canadian uh, company or maybe was you know and Looks like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm uh, following me. Looks like it was finally, I don't know, maybe I'm blowing smoke out of my ass or maybe it's not even a Canadian owned company anymore. and they own that as well, eh? Craig Hicks. They're into petroleum, too. I didn't know that. Anyways, guys, uh, that's going to be the new the new welder here for the, the project. Uh, if you guys are into that kind of stuff, follow along. Again, shout out to uh, Canadian Tire Store Cranbrook for fulfilling the brother's mandate on customer service and good prices. All right, guys. Yeah, catch you later. Bye-bye for now.